All right, here we are at the Gurkha Cigar Factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. And this is a pair that work together. And most, most factories, they work in pairs. You have a poncho or a ponchero. You have the roller or torcido. And what they do is, this is how they make the cigars. This is the final step in the uh, actual construction process of the cigar. Let's start with the puncher. The puncher is, is the, this is the scientific part of the, of the whole thing. This is where he gets the, gets the cigar to get the right tobaccos in the right proportion, not just for flavor components, but also for, for combustion. Because as important as all these different leaves that, that he is putting together, are for the flavor profile of the cigar, it's equally important that he gets the right primings and the right leaves and the right location in the cigar for it to burn correctly. You noticed that dark, the dark leaves were some of the last leaves that he put in there. And he's going back and putting proportionally the right leaves. That dark leaf, which is going to burn slower, has to go inside the middle of that cigar. It's going to burn slower, and if he didn't do that, then the cigar would tunnel because the lighter, the secos, and the viso tobaccos that have better combustion uh, are going to burn at a lot faster rate. So this thing that he's using, some call it a machine, it's actually uh, the only mechanical device that's used uh, in, in making a hand roll cigar, and it's called a Lieberman machine, used by a lot, most factories use this. And basically all it does is it gives them the opportunity to bunch cigars a little bit faster. And uh, you find factories that use the Lieberman machine, they have a lot less uh, incidence of uh, the cigars uh, not being tight enough. As you can see, it's pretty quick. If he were to roll that on the table, um, he could still do the same. It probably just speeds things up a little bit and uh, he's really more consistent. What he's doing is once he gets it trimmed up, he puts it in a mold. And then these molds go here, and then and it fills a couple of molds up, and they, they go on the press here, and they'll press these guys, and after they've been on the press for a while, this partner here, who is the roller, she will put the wrapper, uh, the final leaf, over the bunch. And this is, this is the art part of the rolling the cigar. That's the scientific part, and this is the artistic part. And she's putting a cap on it. And you notice she cut it, and now she's putting another cap, and then you see what type of she's rolling. Yep, she's going to do another punch here, and she's going to put another cap on the top. So we finish the product. That little resin that she uses, it's a natural resin, it has no flavor. It's neutral. It just helps hold the keep the tobacco together long enough to, so it doesn't come unwound while it's um, finishing up in the Marion room. So, that's, she takes her chivetta, she trims out the wrapper leaf. That's what she's going to use for the cigar. And she makes it look very easy. That cap that she's putting on there, a lot of people refer to that as the flag. There's many different ways to finish a cigar. Some people will, you can actually flag it uh, with that, when she does the first cut, but it just takes a little bit longer. There's really no, there's, there's no advantage of doing that way, so very efficient. You see there are a few holes in the wrapper leaf. As long as the holes aren't in the part that she's going to be using, it's not an issue. This is, this is not something that you learn how to do in a couple of days. Lots of repetition.
lots of red fish. There you go.